Hey guys, what's up? Sorry. Welcome to my Mega Man Legends. Welcome back to my Mega Man Legends 2 walkthrough. In the last episode, we started um, destroying all the walls to the ruins that we couldn't get before because we didn't have the drill. Um, this episode, we're gonna finish off by destroying the walls in the Nino main ruins, and then we're gonna go defeat Sarah. Woo! Right? All About right. Damn time. Wow. Wow. Oh! Awesome! Yeah? If I am not mistaken... I think I'm mistaken. I'm mistaken. Ha! <laughs> Never mind. I got too excited. What'd you think was that? I thought that this would just take me here and I wouldn't have to turn on the water to get here, but... This is where I knew the water. So I still need to turn on the water. So you pretty much got your hopes up for absolutely nothing. Yeah, so before I even go there, I might as well turn the water on now so I don't have to go all the way back. Okay, Ruben, we're almost done. Almost to your favorite part of the game. Just a little warning. Um, when I start the battle with Sarah in the cutscene, I'm probably going to cut out the audio to me. Because I'm going to be compelled to... Um, how do I say this? Pretty much to say everything they say, because I played this. I played the last part so much as a little kid because I liked the boss so much that I it, it, the script just kind of got burnt into my head. Gats is attempting to assist you by invading my internal systems. I do not understand. I'm not gonna go. Would it be maybe a little bit easier for you to use your jets? I'm just trying to jump over these guys, though. <sighs> That's the thing about them. They're weak as hell, but as soon as you kill one, they all gang up on you. Like a form of piranhas. Pretty much. Except they're more like mini sharks. 20,000! Thank yeah. you for something that's worth it. Except Piranhas are not weak. Yeah. Well, I mean, Piranhas are talking swarms, so I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be that devastating if you got attacked by one Piranha. Maybe. I don't know. It's still gonna try to eat your skin off. Missed. I missed. What is this? Oh no. Not another trap. Oh! Mother. Oops. Uh, uh, just kidding, bro. Just, just kidding. Oh, you died. Ah, yeah. Yeah, you better. You better run away. Mm. You weren't scared at all? No. He died because he knew what was going to happen if he didn't. You're so brave, Oh god, oh god, oh god! He, he was a he was a little braver. Uh -huh. Blue crystals. I really don't want to need that much energy for my drill, but just in case I get attacked by that green stuff again. That was fast. 
And the next walls are right after I jump over the big Didn't wall. Did you just miss something? No. Go back and shoot Could have sworn there was a part that you didn't go into. Of course I will land right on top of a bad guy. This, th that big area back there was where I f you would primarily fight those jellyfish that you saw me fight. I'm telling Mario this, not you guys, because obviously if you guys haven't followed my walkthrough, you should already know that. Somebody who isn't the first time watching the latest game. Wow, that's interesting. What? Never mind. What did you do? It was just a little visual glitch. It wasn't really anything. Ah. Gonna land in the fish, gonna land in the fish, gonna land in the fish. Aww. Like, you know, I'm in the fish. Didn't you know, I'm too much of a pro, bro. Pro, bro? I'm pro a pro, bro. bro. Alright. If gods love me, this will be the last wall. Nope. Roar! One in the last floor. That's it. Just that one. Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Power Blaster, what is that? Attack plus two, rapid plus one. Well, that's gay. Attack plus three, rapid plus two. You have the Omega Power Blaster. Oh, that's right. Well, that's lame. Guess it's something else I can sell. All right, one more and we get to fight Sarah! No, that, that was an E of terror. Oh, yes. Not of joy. Oh my goodness, Mega Man, can you at least foul? Fall, fall foul. foul. I hate you. Shut up, Mario. Foul. I foul. Alright, how do I get to the next? You got a hell bit of action. Mario, that is rude. Some Aww. of our viewers may be hillbillies. I'm sorry if you're hillbillies. Not really. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, just one more. Just one more. You want to fight Sarah for me? No, I'm good. You, you can fight her. That would be a funny thing to watch you trying to fight her first. Especially her second form. Feel my power. No water, I like it. I like it. Look how fast they look how much faster everything goes in when you're not underwater. I feel like I'm on fast forward right now. I really feel like I'm on fast forward right now, holy crap. Alright. Oh! 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 
even for the thing behind the wall, I freaking need water. So now I need to find a switch that takes me to a level that lets me turn on the water. And then I need to come back here and turn. Blah. Blah. I hate water. That's why I only shower once a year. I guess that's why they gave me two stones. R really? All right, this better be something good. Ooh, 500 zenny. Range Booster A. Range plus four. Mm. Mm. I could essentially... Mm. Nah, it's not worth it. Considering that I'm mainly going to be beating up Sarah with my laser, I don't really need to have my range that high. Wait a minute! If it costs 45... 45 million was it? Yeah. 45 million to upgrade the attack of my laser. No, 4 million. 500,000. Yeah, 4 million 500,000. How much would it have cost before I caught roll in the bathroom? Oh. Crap, yeah. That's a good question. That's ridiculous. That shit better kill Sarah in one hit. Anyways, I'm gonna cut to Elysium. It's a big cut, but you guys should already know how to get out of here. You should know how to get to the flutter. You know. And I, w I wanna get this battle in one video. So I will see you guys in an instant. Alright guys, here we are outside of the Nino Ruins, and I know I said that I was going to cut back to Elysium, but I forgot I was going to sell my stuff, and for some reason I want to get that on the video. So here we go. First let me make sure I have everything that I don't want to sell equipped. Yes I did. That was fast. Okay. Hearts. Thirty-five thousand? No, 
Yeah, I, I, I'm never gonna upgrade it all the way. Don't, don't even. Never gonna happen. One can only go. One can only go. for us now. Because we got a lot of mechanic notes in a sensor. So let's see. Thick pipe. Combine it with artillery notes. Artillery notes. And I get... The Buster Cannon. It's pretty much the... I'll show you. It's so, much, uh, I'll show you. mechanic notes three. I can combine this with the sower. Now we have spread buster, completely piece of useless crap. Beam blade me. notes. Uh, Shield spreader from Battle Network. Pretty much, it's pretty much like the normal buster, except you shoot like three of them, and if you upgrade all the way, you shoot like five. But it's weak. And it's just, it's just not worth it. And Hunter Seeker. That's actually a pretty cool weapon. But I just, it's, it's, it's too tactical, I guess, for this game. Change weapon. Buster Cannon. Pretty much the same thing as a Hyper Shell. The only difference is, this makes a big boom. This doesn't. So, I have no idea why they even put this in there. Does that many people want a big boom? Homing missile, you guys already know what that is. Ground crawler, already know what that is. Vacuum arm, reflector arm, shining laser, machine gun arm, spread buster. That's the one I was talking about. It pretty much just shoots a bunch of them, and you can tell because they have a bunch of holes in the front. Hunter Seeker. It shoots out a little droid that shoots at enemies for you, and then it blows up. Like I said, it's pretty freaking cool, but I just don't like the I just don't like getting too tactical in this game because this is not the kind of game where you really have to get very tactical. That's why I'm sticking with my shining laser. Mm, okay, let's see how much we can improve it. We already know that's about as high as we're gonna get the attack. So now it's between... It has no special, no rapid, obviously. So it's between range and energy. Maybe I can... Well, I don't have enough for energy, so I might as well do range. Wow. I have so much money left, but I don't have enough to... Oh, well. Alright. One last thing. Since I have nothing else to do with my money... Might as well make sure I survive this battle. Okay, the volume just went down again. Yes, yes it did. That's freaking weird. And now it's going back up? I be confused. <laughs> That's weird. It probably won't show up in the video, but the sound keeps randomly, like, going down and up. It's kind of weird. We have a ghost in the premises. All right, now we can finally go to Elysium and fight Mistress Sarah. Uh, however, I think I'm gonna have to do it in another video because this is already 20 minutes long. So I'll just cut to the mother zone. Hopefully, I'll have enough time. If not, I'll just make this video a little extra long. So I will see you guys in Elysium.
All right, guys, here we are in the mother area. Yes, the eerie music is playing in the background. The long hallways, the psych out hallway that makes you think you're gonna fall into a hole. Everything is being set up for the final boss, Mistress Sarah. Here we are, the library. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready, guys? You guys. Are you ready? Well, since Mario's not ready, I guess I won't do it right now. No! Do it, do it, do it. Well, you've made it. You've reached the library. Destroy the system or defend it. It's your choice, Mega Man. You don't really have a choice. I can't tell you what to do. <laughs> this unit will attempt to infiltrate Mother's logic. Absolutely system. talking. There is no guarantee Look here! Yeah. This unit's powers are limited, but it shall assist you as much as possible. The library is shielded against any and all transmissions. I won't be able to help you anymore. Good luck, Mega Man. All right. Like I said, I don't know why they, they they talk like you have a choice. You really don't have a choice in the matter. You have to kill Sarah. Execution of carbon reanalyzation program has been paused, awaiting orders to continue from Mother Unit. Execution of carbon reinitialization program has been paused. All right, awaiting you definitely need to shut up now throughout the <laughs> very Execution of carbon reinitialization program paused? has been paused. Why? 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 That's her friendly form. I could have executed the carbon reinitialization program at any time, but I chose not to. Really? Do you know why? Nope. Unlike you, I cannot act against the system. I can only act within the parameters it defines for me. Indeed, I cannot think of anything beyond the system's limits. That is why I cannot comprehend what could have motivated the Master to attempt to destroy the system. I am jealous of you. You were close to the master. You understood his thoughts in a way I will never be able to. Yuna chose to remove herself from the system, even though she is, like myself, Mother Unit. I cannot do that. I've waited for you from the master, love. Perhaps by defeating you, who is so sympathetic to the master's desires, I can purge myself of these troublesome emotions. Come then, Mega Man Trigger. Show me what a first class purifier is capable of. Alright. Shining laser. Yeah, um, pretty much she'll just appear, attack, and disappear. Which gets very annoying because that means you can only get a few hits at a time. So, Shining Laser's not going to do me much good right now. Not be that hard to dodge. Wow, so far I've not dodged one attack successfully. Oh, come on. This is not looking good. This one, some people say you have to um, jump at exactly the right time. But honestly, if you just get really far away, you can easily avoid her shockwave. Then just destroy all the mines. Or, quote, mines. Not sure how these are supposed to be mines, but okay. Oh, I guess I wasn't far enough that, that time. You didn't really give me much space.
Yeah. Oh god, oh god, oh god. And that's why I spent all my money. <laughs> Cheater? Hey, I I earned that by spending all my money on it. I, I was I used to be a lot better at this fight though. Oh, come on. This that attack almost gave me trouble though. Even though it's really weak, so it's okay to get hit by it. It's it's, it's like impossible to dodge every single one. The blue one's easy. You just gotta pretty much jump as soon as she throws uh, as soon as she uh, puts her hands down. This one, like I said. Um, people say that if, if you jump at exactly the right time, you can jump over the shockwave. I say just get away, and the shockwave won't be a problem. However, you gotta be really far away. So if she's all up on your grill, it's gonna be kinda hard. Almost there. Almost there. First four. The second form is stronger, but this is just so annoying. Cause she disappears, attacks, and disappears, so you can only get a few shots in. Here comes the real Sarah. As, as if this one wasn't bad enough. This one grows a hundred stories tall. And I'm not sure how we just get teleported to the sky. Do you believe in magic? I like how this looks, because you think this thing's behind our arms. And they are, but then they're kind of crossed, and it's just weird. Alright! Spam him with your shining laser. Damn it, normally my shining lasers are a little stronger. No, it isn't. There's no way I ever get it to the... To its strongest. Got you. This attack is relatively easy to dodge. Get a few attacks in, but make sure you see where the lasers are going so you don't get hit. Even if you do, they're not that strong. The only bad thing is that it's easy to hit, get hit by one and then get caught by the other ones. That one is nearly impossible to dodge. You have to get in between the little things that come up, and you barely have enough time to even see them. Um, if you get hit by this attack, you most like yep, look at that. You most likely have to get hit, uh, healed if you get hit by that attack. It's Ridiculously strong. Gotcha. Oh, oh, that's kind of lucky. She's shooting lasers out of her udders. Last time I checked, they were only supposed to have four udders. This bitch got many. Oh god, okay, I can dodge it. That's literally just her charging at you. Nothing special about that. I'm not entirely sure how to dodge it. Gotcha.
If she comes at you while laughing, she's just charging at you. If she comes at you without laughing, she's gonna do this. That's pretty much how you can tell what she's gonna do. Feel my power is a pretty much unblockable one that I just unblocked. Unblocked. That I just blocked. Ah! Gotcha. You're so predictable, Sarah. Get your udders off of me! Then I go past that second step. <laughs> oh god, oh god, here it comes. Whoa, what is this? Oh, the black. Nope, no, the meteors. Just keep running. Don't even bother shooting her. Just keep running on this one. This is one of those attacks where if you get hit by one, it's easier to get hit by the rest. So it's pretty much another utter attack. Pretty much. This black hole does nothing to you. However, it pulls you in, and if you actually get sucked in the middle, it's pretty hard to move at all. So it makes um, her other attacks really easy to hit you. Here comes the black hole again. However, I gotta say, I really like the effect of the black hole. That's such a bullshit attack! I mean, normally the attacks like that have some kind of drawback, like they're easy to dodge or something, but that one is hard to dodge and it's ridiculously strong. I mean, if I was her, that's all I would use. Ah, oh, that is not even fair. Use the black hole and that. That's what she's been doing the whole time. Has she? Yeah. Oh god, oh god. Oh, wow. That was more than just luck. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Her attacks, this Sarah's attacks are a little easier to do. No, no. No, they're kind of the same. Um. Oh, oh, you're about to get hit by the meteor. There's an upside and a downside to this Sarah. Um, her attacks are a lot stronger than the other Sarah. But the fact that she's always open makes her easier to hit. So it, it kind of balances itself out. That's why I bought so many energy canteens, though. Because of how devastating getting hit by one attack can be. Yeah. And we finished the game. Enjoy the last cutscene. Whenever the master looked at me, I detected a sadness in his eyes. The more I obeyed the system and tried to serve the master, the sadder he seemed. Now, Trigger, thanks to you, perhaps, perhaps the master will also smile at me as he did at you. Sarah. Sarah! At last, I understand. Thank you, Trigger. Thank you. Th thank you. Sarah! Don't think you're going to get off that easily, Sarah. You were always too stubborn for your own good. If we have a shell, we can transfer your primary programs over, right? Gats is dead. He died because of your gamble. If you die as well, who will be left to keep me company? You can't fool me. I know you can hear me. <laughs> Still going to ignore me? Then let me tell you something. Now that Elysium is no longer functioning, the old system the Master's people shut down has started to reactivate. It was your responsibility to monitor it. If you die and it takes over, the Master's work was for nothing. Do you want that? 
Do you mean to say that... the Elder System is becoming active again? There are remnants of that system buried all over Terra in what the Carvens call ruins. There's so many, even I don't know how many there are. I doubt they'll be fully active soon, but eventually they will. If we don't do anything, just imagine what will happen to Terra and all its people. If the Elders and their machines activate, what will your sacrifice here have been for? What do you say, sir? Are you up for living with the people the Master left behind? Could be a little wild, but interesting. Perhaps it might be worthwhile. I can't remember the last time I saw you smile, Sarah. I'll think about it. Once we figure out a way to return to Terra. <laughs> That's a very good point, Sarah. <laughs> so what are we going to do, Mega Man? If we can't get back to Terra, then I can't give Roll her mother back. Is that the only thing you're worried about? <laughs> Don't worry, Yuna. Why? I know Roll. She'll come looking for us, no matter what happens. And that's the end of this walkthrough, guys. Thank you guys for watching it. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. This is one of my favorite games of all time, considering I've stopped been playing it for the past 10 years. Um, and yeah. Send me a message for a request of what game I should do next. If I don't get any within the next few weeks, I'll just do one that I want to do. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy this music.
and was going to give us ancient technology. But it just... I think this system was too complex. We need to keep things simpler. That way, less things can go wrong. But if we build it this way, it will cost too much. If we take existing parts and put them together this way... See? Just look at how much money we can save. Hmm, I think if we modify the fuel injectors like this, it just might solve the problem. It's really simple, really simple. If you would just listen to me, I could show you. See, look here. You stay out of this data. We need to make the cargo hold smaller. We can save space and make it lighter that way. It doesn't matter. With this new amazing engine I designed, we will have more than enough power. Your engine? I'd believe you if your engines weren't made from spare parts and needed to be adjusted every five minutes. Not everybody has tons of money to build your kind of engine. If you don't use the proper Sorry, Mega Man, but it looks like you might be stuck up there for a little while more. Looks like we both got a work cut out for us. How dare you? Anyway, I wonder how Mega Man's doing. Huh. We have to get this thing working so we can go get him. <laughs> 